So tank 1 and tank 2 are connected with transmissibility. Tank 1 initial pressure is 4000. Tank 2 initial pressure is 4000. Okay, or maybe it is better if they are at the same level. So that's why they have the reservoir pressure, the same reservoir pressure of 4000. Yeah, it will be better like this at the same level. Okay, so initial pressure the same, but we produce from tank one so that the pressure, the reservoir pressure will drop. After the reservoir pressure in tank one drops to 3000, then the difference between reservoir pressure in tank one and tank two is 1000 psi. Here we have 3000 because of production. Here we have 4000 because it there is no production here. So the reservoir pressure is still initial. Okay, because of the difference of 1000 psi, tank two will give the fluid to the tank one because they are connected. Okay. Yeah, let's say transmissibility here is the leaky fault. Okay. We have, for example, fault here, but it's not ceiling fault, it's leaky fault. So tank two will give some fluid to tank one so that pressure in tank one will be supported by this tank two. Okay, that's why we if we check the pressure in tank one, plot the pressure, the reservoir pressure decline becomes slower because of support from tank two. Okay, so I need to explain the story quite comprehensively so that you get a clear picture about what transmissibility is, what connection, what is the connection between two reservoirs. Okay, so from here, we go to history matching and you see the red line is model without transmissibility. So clearly the red line doesn't match. Without transmissibility, the model doesn't match. Okay, the model is wrong. But with transmissibility, now I have blue line. And you can see blue line gives better match, although it still doesn't match. Okay, so now my hypothesis is right. Blue line is almost correct. So they are connected between tank one and tank two. They have transmissibility between them. So what I need to do now is to regress. Regression. Okay, I need to regress because I'm still not sure about the transmissibility and about oil in place. Okay, I'm still not sure about the what the oil in place. So I will keep the 200. I will keep the 200. Let's say I'm sure. And then I will regress for the tank two and the transmissibility. Okay, so I will calculate. And the MBAL will estimate. So MBAL thinks that tank two should be 333. And the transmissibility should be 2.94 in order to achieve the best match. Okay, let me check. I click this one. So now the oil in place in tank two is 333 and the transmissibility should be 2.94. So let's check, click done. And you can see we achieve perfect match. Okay, so now I have the correct oil in place for my tank one and tank two. And also I have the correct transmissibility between the two reservoirs. Okay, so that's the importance of simple reservoir simulation with this software with material balance calculation. Now I'm quite sure, quite certain about the oil in place in tank one 
in tank two. And I, I also know the transmissibility between the two reservoirs, okay? That's the significance, that's the importance of this simulation, okay? And this is still with analytical method. We need to check the graphical method. Okay, the method, Haflena Odeh. We will match the tank one, okay? It is difficult to analyze with graphical method because usually in graphical method we only consider one reservoir so that's why we see blank here and then change to other method right graphical method cannot express the transmissibility between two reservoirs yeah it it is better so the graphical method can capture only here. And you can see here is actually the period where the reservoir tank one produces alone without support from tank two. And here is the period where the tank two already supports the tank one. Okay, so the graphical method is not very good to analyze connectivity or transmissibility between two reservoirs. And also let's check the next method. Okay. Yeah, it still also doesn't match. Yeah, very limited. So if we have two reservoirs and they have transmissibility, the best method should be analytical method like this okay and then we can check the graphical method oh no sorry the energy plot for tank one this is the drive mechanism analysis so the main drive mechanism is fluid expansion of course because we don't have gas cap we don't have aquifer so the main drive mechanism is fluid expansion and also pore volume compressibility. Okay, and we click next tank, tank two, because we don't have production data in tank two, so it is blank. Okay, so we cannot analyze the drive mechanism in tank two. Unfortunately, we, can, we only can analyze the tank one because it has production history. Okay, so click finish. And then this is for all analysis. Again, our main method is analytical method. And click finish. Now check the run simulation. 